continue to pray. And they continued to pound Fort McHenry, and they pounded Fort McHenry, and for 25 hours straight, they pounded Fort McHenry. Until about 4 o'clock in the morning when they realized they had a problem. That flag was still there. The British Admiral runs to Francis Scott Key and says, you people are crazy. That flag is taking direct hit after direct hit and somehow it's still standing. But I'll tell you what, for the next three hours, we've got every rocket, we've got every bomb aimed at that flag and it will come down tonight. But early in the morning, when the smoke cleared, Francis Scott Key saw something he could not believe choked up with emotion. He yelled down to the deck below and said, that flag is still there. The flag is still there. He knew the flag had been hit. He couldn't understand why it was still standing. So he got to Fort McHenry. Saw men, fathers, husbands, sons, who knew if the flag was down, America was down had gathered together to hold up the flag as four of them died. As their bodies were laid on top of each other. Blood was shed all over the ground. Francis Scott Key cried his eyes out as he watched dawn's early light shine on the flag. It was still there. He took out the negotiation papers that he was supposed to give to the British Admiral. He turned it over on the back and he wrote a poem that said, O say does that star-spangled banner yet wave, land of the free, and home of the brave. Well, I knew the story, but I didn't understand its meaning until recently, until I watched how many of our men and women have given their lives holding up the flag. You see, Sergeant Jesus Flores was somebody's father who gave his life this year, holding up the flag. And Sergeant Joshua Hart was somebody's husband who gave his life this year for holding up the flag. Nicole Fryer was somebody's 19-year-old little girl who gave her life this year for holding up the flag. And because they did so, that flag is still there. Ladies and gentlemen, our flag has taken direct hit after direct hit for the last 200 years. But because of a bunch of men and women, many of them are in this room, that dug in the trenches, that went out to sea, that took off to the wild blue yonder, that flag is still there. From the bloodshed on Normandy, to the bloodshed in Saigon, to the bloodshed in Afghanistan, that flag is still there. They've blown up the ships. They've knocked down the buildings. They've killed as many troops as they could, but through it all, that flag is still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. Land of the free, from the home 